Right there you have my perpetually beautiful wife Tammy okay. with uh, Mr. Lobo. I'm here with uh, my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan. We got the uh, two OGs out for a hike today. Come along. It's a beautiful morning. It's already in the 80s. And it uh, feels like it's going to be a hot one, huh? It is going to be a hot one. Yes. My cooker. Lobo taking taking some time to eat some leaves. <laughs> yes, he bit into that with some gusto. <laughs> Oh, for a second, my sciatic is acting up. Gargan. So big man. Little dog up here. You guys met a little guy, a little, little chihuahua mix or something. What a cutie. Hey, hey. Hey, how you doing? Cute crew you got. What's that? Cute crew you got. Oh, thank you. We got a couple Yorkies at home, so these guys like little dogs. What a cutie. Yeah, this guy's pretty Is he? Yeah, what a cutie. He looks like Toto. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Yeah, I do too. Kind of a brindle. Yeah. You see, my dogs eat a lot of green stuff down here. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? Do you want to hit the uh, beach right away or uh, go down here and hit it down here? Uh, I don't know. I just want to walk around the bottom. All right. Okay. Well, let's walk down here because it's kind of scenic and then we'll, okay. we'll hit the beach further down. We'll avoid the masses of people that way too. We tend to walk through the uh, less populated areas of the dog park just because it's a, a little nice to have it to yourself, huh? Yes. You almost fall? Almost. <laughs>
It's beautiful, but it's uh, humid, huh? It's a little very, bit. Yeah, very a little muggy. sticky. Yeah. I'll take it, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shots with Bowie doesn't pose that much. Bergen <laughs> grazing. <laughs> Kurgan disappeared. Where are you, Kurgan? There you are. <laughs> like that I'm not calling the dogs to me I'm telling them to stay in my area if I want them to come to me I use their name with all the different trails I don't want them just take it off down a, down a random trail and missing where we're going off leash park so you'll see lots of dogs running around off leash. You want to go up through here or hit the beach? Uh, beach. Alright. Hey how you guys doing today? Hi. Good. How are you? Beautiful day. Yeah. Hey buddy. <laughs> Bye Kurgan. As usual, right? Kurgan <laughs> loves the mud. today. <clears throat> I expected to see uh, more people in this park. There's a tennis shoe up on there, the boot up on a tree there. How could you just lose one? Yeah. All on a stroller maybe or something? Yeah, I don't know. It looks a little big for a stroller. No, 
Oh, that's a kid's shoe. Yeah, but... You know, like a 10 or 12 year old, you're pushing your kid in the stroller at that age down here. Yeah, your kid's got issues. Or a wagon. Yeah. My kids still remember the hell march that I made them go on down here. <laughs> I took my kids down here one winter and uh, we were walking around with the dogs. And sometimes the conditions get just right where the snow gets like a crust on it. And so when you step on it, you kind of break through and it's, you got to lift your foot up out of it. And, we didn't know it was like that until we got down in the valley and I had my two younger kids with me, Max and Marvea, and they, they call it the hell march now because we had to walk a ways to get back out of the valley in those conditions and they griped the whole time. I, they still gripe now about it. Yeah. And they're adults. I always tell them you gotta live hard to be hard. <laughs> the hell march. There you go, Tammy, the mighty Mississippi. We're coming right out here. Again, there, there's the Mississippi. We're in Minnesota, so the Mississippi up this far north is uh, a lot smaller than it is uh, when it gets down south. You know, it's fed by many different rivers on its way down there. A lot of people don't realize it starts up here in Minnesota. And it's pretty clean up this far north too. People fish and eat out of it and stuff and swim in it. I grew up swimming in it. Even used to water ski in it a little bit. Growing up, my grandfather uh, had a houseboat he used to keep uh, up in uh, Hudson, Wisconsin, and it had uh, two Chevy 350 motors in it, <laughs> so it was fast as hell for a houseboat and could actually pull water skiers, which is uh, kind of funny when you think about it. Yeah, we had a I had a blast on that one when I was a kid. Yeah, we used to. Yeah, well, that's a perfect day to be on the river in a boat. Coming. It's a pontoon. Nice. That's what I'd love to be on on the river because you can fish and barbecue on those things. They're a blast. Hell yeah. That's what I would love to have a, a place on the river up north. Some property that uh, butted right up against it with a dock. Maybe we'll see some eagles out here while we're out here today. Oh yeah, look for Tammy. I oh, set it and there he, there he is. They're always here. You see the eagle up in the tree there? Good morning. What's up, freedom bird? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Chilling. Chilling and checking it out. Oh yeah, the water's going down quite a bit. Look how far the point goes out now. Oh yeah. Nice. Soon. Yeah, there's plenty of past it. Yeah, plenty of beach for us to walk on too. Down that way. These people that are over here, yeah, those people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a stick for Lobo, Lobo stick.
<laughs> Lobo's baddy, br bratty brother Kurgan knocked him down. Lobo loves to fetch and get stuff out of the river, and Kurgan loves to steal it from him. <laughs> Kurgan gets jealous when Lobo fetches stuff, so he tries to put it into it. <laughs> Lobo will wait. As we walk down the beach, he'll grab it. Get it, Bo. Oh, he knows where it is. Yeah, he Kurgan took it from him. He got it. He already brought it back. Kurgan took it from him. Oh. There he goes again. <laughs> Are you gonna play fetch, Kurgan? He's the fun police. Boy, Bo. Man, that sun is hot. Get a scorcher. Yes. Can't stay in it too long. I'll be uh, bright red in no time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take me long to get vitamin D from the sun, that's for sure. Well, they say in Minnesota, because we're so far north, you really only get vitamin D from the sun from what, like May to September or something like that. Yeah, I, re I read somewhere. Yeah, it's always so warm by the shallow mm. part there. Join me, Kevin. Ow, ow. Thank you. It's not a walk unless Lobo's smashing you with a rock and, or with a stick in your shins. Sure. Yeah, right, Bo. He says, yeah, I'm going to come get you too now, Dad. Holy buckets, man, it's hot in the sun. Wow, there's so many. They're getting they're pretty big. But uh, fish? fish? Yeah, a little fish. Minnows? Boy, Bo. That noble get this jack. It's like no. Hey guys. How you doing? Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Hey. That is, you are a big dog. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, you can't keep them out of the water. They love it. It's so hot. It is. Just... Beautiful dog. Oh, thank you. How are yours? Love the color.
Yeah, well, there are a ton of cars up there. I wonder if they're all down at, down at the first spot, you know, around the corner. Sure. You know how they all congregate down there. Yeah. I sometimes wonder if people realize that there's this whole back section of yeah, the park, you know, because just kind of go one spot. If you follow the thing there, you see where the river goes up. It goes around a turn, and there's a a large spot there where people congregate. That's kind of by the entrance. And I think a lot of people just end up stopping there with their dogs and letting them play and swim and they don't walk through the whole park. The park's huge. There's miles of trails just weaving all, all around through here. It's a wonderful area. It is beautiful. Minnehaha Dog Park in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota for those who last. You can uh, look it up online and there's like maps of the area. And, they show what it looks like. What's up, big man? <laughs> he, says, he says, there'll be no fun here. <laughs> there goes the SS Lobo. That dog can swim. Look at him go. That's amazing. You see how fast he's going? Yeah. I mean, I realize he's going with the current, but still. <laughs> he's part fish. Good boy, Kurgan. We decided to do some fetching today, huh? All right, drop it, drop it. He says no. <laughs> he's he's holding. Butt. Yeah, he's hanging on to Lobo's butt to keep him from fetching it. Dead brother. Lobo raised Kurgan from a puppy on the channel. They have a. Uh, like a brother relationship, they like to mess with each other all the time. Well, it's mostly Kurgan messing with uh, Lobo, right, Tim? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you see Lobo? Yeah, yeah, Lobo's like, all right, here, just take it, damn it. Good boy, Kurgan. Yeah, I think it's uh, some type of whistle or something. You know, it sounds like they have these type of whistles you put on a rope if you twirl them like that, and they kind of oh. sound like that. That's what it reminds me of, anyways. Yeah, it's like a woo woo. Yeah. yeah, that's what those things sound like as they go around. Hey guy, I like his beard. Hi. Nice. How you doing? Handsome dog. Head up through the woods over here, huh? Okay. When you're covered with as much ink as me and you have as fair a skin as I do, I, uh, I like to limit my exposure to the sun if I don't have any uh, sunblock on. Just call me the day walker. <laughs> Just a little piece of seaweed or something? Yeah. Oh, you know what it is? It's a shadow. Oh. Yeah. Look at all the little minnow stuff. How many did you just take out, Kurgan? Ow, ow, ow. Did he hit you again? Come on, dude. Just trying to add to the artwork on your legs, Mom. Nice shades of purple and green. <laughs> sand is really fine, like ashtray sand. I guess I'm dating myself when I'm talking about ashtray sand, right Tim?
Hey, dude. See the little dog there? Those drops about 10 degrees and you come into the shade, huh? Lobo says it's you that's out, not him. No. <laughs> Stick's gonna go bye bye. <laughs> says I didn't strike, I hit you with the bat. <laughs> oh, it's like looking at the different. Uh, molds and funguses down here. Are they mushy? No, they're hard like wood. Oh yeah, they're yeah. hard. Cool. Because hmm. there's those ones that are on that tree and they're like spongy. Yeah. Ow, Lobo. Ta-da! Touche. You gotta get them two more times. Trail here. Kurgan. Going this way. Come on. Get <laughs> 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 a brushed Kurgan this morning. Lobo too, and it doesn't even look like it now if they're, they're dry. The dog's like, come on, Jesus. Yeah, I know, he wants to play. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's time we retire your log. It's a path clearer. Yeah. Every time he runs by us, he's gonna nail us with it. Come here, Lobo. Thank you. Until there you go. <laughs> Come on. No, Bo. Nobody will get it. He's like, but Dad, I didn't get a chance to pee on it yet. That's usually what he does when he ditches a stick down here. That would make me not want to play with it if I was another duck. Beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. Alright, come on. Kurgan, don't want to get all the mud. We're almost to the Jeep. Hello, Bo. Get all the mud. Bless you.
Lobo, no. They're like quite a wallowing spot there. Come here, Kurgan. Go away. I'll get my blood going, climbing up that. Climbing up out of the valley. Up. Here again, up. Well, I got my blood going. Nice finisher for the hike. over our shoulders are there are uh, our leashes we have to walk them on a leash uh, to get them from the car to the off-leash park bye from my perpetually beautiful wife bye guys, Tammy have a great day mr. Lobo and mr. Kurgan and myself like subscribe and share check out our merch store <laughs> she's not representing today <laughs> that's all see ya thanks for watching Check out our merch store down below.